hustler, you've got to hustle, there ain't no time for sleep, just keep on moving, do what you're doing, you always play for keeps, ain't backing down, no we're going big, ain't stopping now, we get after it, get after it. Plan today. I gotta hike out. Gonna go hunt with these guys first thing. They're gonna kill something. It's raining. There's always good luck to be had in the rain. <laughs> That's not a fact, but just more of a theory, a hope. I've shot, I've shot plenty of stuff in the rain. Yeah. Ross, have you ever shot anything in the rain? Ah, uh, I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> too mean. Hanging out with Mr. Buddy though. Shot my second biggest <clears throat> white tail in the rain. Straight rain. And we shot a six point bull in the rain when we were just not hunting. Huh. We are <clears throat> making our way out to a point where we can do some glassing. It's socked in pretty good this morning. Quite a bit of rain. But uh, hopefully it'll burn off a little bit. We can get set up down here and glass across this draw, pick up a couple bucks. So, hopefully, this rain will kind of leave us for the day. Hey, uh, good job spotting the species we can't shoot. It's <laughs> a good spot. <laughs> He's chewing Ross out about not using a tripod for his binoculars. I'm yelling deer, they're bighorn sheep. <laughs> They kind of look similar in my defense. <laughs> Where are you going? A short lived icon tour, but <laughs> I gotta make the trek today. <laughs> this trail ain't walking itself. See Hopefully, anything? we'll find some deer. Yeah. Pretty bleak so far this morning, but the weather's not the greatest. Found sheep. That's right. <laughs> All right. Our spirit animal. Travel safe. Best of luck to you guys, too. Have fun. Stay dry. All that fun stuff. We are currently socked in pretty good. Can't even see much of the country we want to look at for deer. So we're just kind of hanging out, hoping that it clears up enough to where we can spot some deer. It's been pretty bleak this morning so far, so hopefully when this clears up, they'll start moving around a little bit. We are headed back to camp. Visibility's down to about less than 100 yards. And uh, just getting wet, so camp's not too far up the strand. We're gonna get back there, start a fire, get dried up, wait for this to clear up, and then uh, head back out there. So, so far, it's been a pretty boring video for you guys, so sorry about that. But hopefully, it'll turn around here when this rain and fog clears. We have finally got a break in the weather. And uh, Jared and I are heading up the hill past camp. Looked on Onyx and pretty good little smaller canyon up here. So, but man, it's been raining all day. We just stayed at camp and had a fire going, but it was just socked in all the way around us. So we're happy to be able to see a little bit. Hopefully the deer will be active. Hey Jared, did you bring any sunglasses? Negative. 
You don't bring better sunglasses out on backcountry hunts. Well, we need goggles this morning. Frick, waiters. <laughs> goggles and waiters. And now we need sunglasses. We're not gonna complain. So far, we have seen approximately zero deer. We got up, uh, hiked out of camp up here. That storm blew out and got set up in this big drainage. And uh, nothing so far. I found a shed way down at the bottom, but Jared doesn't want to go get it. It's only 400 yards straight down. But uh, we're just gonna kind of sit up on this glassing point and glass till dark and maybe go look off this other side and glass and hopefully find something coming out. They should be moving like crazy, we would think. So we're just gonna keep behind the glass and hopefully find something back in here. All right, guys. I've uh, been subscribed to the Backcountry Fuel Box since this pretty much started. And I've had some bars that I really didn't like and I've had some things that I've absolutely loved. And this right here is one that is awesome. The Pro Bar Banana Nut Bread. It is really good. So you guys should check out these Pro Bars and then uh, check out the Backcountry Fuel Box. Now that's going in. <laughs> I've never seen those before. <laughs> you could put whiskers on your face, and I wonder where people always got that stupid shit from. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we saw nothing. We're uh, trying to keep in good spirits, but uh, man, it's tough after being rained on all day with visibly visibility less than 100 yards and then it cleared up to be beautiful. We were expecting big things and uh, we glassed some big canyons. Glassed a lot lower than we should have because it would have been hell to get down there. But nothing. So it's kind of frustrating, um, but trying to keep in high hopes. Tomorrow we're gonna wake up early and hopefully the weather will hold for us and we'll get up in glass and get our eyes on something. But uh tough day. It's uh this is my home state. Should be should have it easy, but uh I've actually never been to this spot before. I've hunted this unit once before in a different place. And uh, when we wanted to take the horses in and we got back in here and it's tough. We had two other groups of guys come in and uh, they actually camped where we were thinking about going. So that kind of sucks, but nothing we can do about that. But we're just making our way back to camp. We probably went out a mile and a half and got up on the ridges and glassed and glassed and glassed and nothing. So we're gonna get back to camp, get warmed up and uh, hit it hard in the morning. So cross your fingers. Hopefully we'll get into something. Our current state is in the little pup tent with the Mr. Heater and it's raining again. We thought we were done with all the rain. It's coming down pretty good right now. It's kind of getting harder. And so we're going to wait out this and hopefully be able to go sit out by, by the fire again because it's pretty early still. Probably only around six o'clock. So. We're gonna cook some food in here and uh, hopefully it stops raining. 
So as you guys could tell in the video, today is not the day I shoot my buck in Idaho. So with that, I'm going to say you're going to want to check back in tomorrow and see what happens. It gets pretty exciting. Day 15 of the Icon Tour is probably one of my favorite days of the whole series. So check back in tomorrow. And uh, this morning, man, we, wo we woke up and went out. And we got a little bit of the glassing in first thing in the morning before Travis left. And then we just kind of got socked in. And the rain came in and the fog. And uh, we went back to camp and hung out in the tent most of the day um, with visibility being, you know, 100 150 yards so it finally broke that evening we were able to go out and do some glassing and glass some amazing country and uh, we weren't able to turn up any deer so hiking back to camp that night our hopes weren't super high for the following day um, but we're like okay we're just gonna hit it hard in the morning maybe drop down a little lower see if we can find these deer and uh, so you're gonna check back in tomorrow and uh, see how it all plays out. Um, but I'm going to announce the winner of the day 10 giveaway, which was a Sitka Bino Bivy. So you had to comment on that video. Um, this was the day Landon and Jim shot their bucks in Montana. Comment, and uh, I'm gonna announce the winner right here. So the winner of the Sitka Bino Bivy is Curtis Barker. Curtis Barker. You are the winner of the Sitka Bino Bivy. Thanks so much for commenting on that video and subscribing to our channel. We really appreciate everyone's comments. And uh, man, we really, we've been overwhelmed with all the support we've got from you guys. So we really appreciate it. And uh, thank you guys for telling friends about it. And we've got a lot of new people to our channel and we really appreciate it. So I'm going to jump in and announce what today's giveaway is going to be. So let's see, today is day 14 of the Icon Tour. And we are giving away Another Vortex prize package, which includes the Vortex Bino Harness, the Vortex Tumbler Cup, and the Vortex Hat. So to be entered in for that one, leave us a comment down below. Um, we really want to know, we want to get some ideas for our weekly content. So leave us a comment down below and tell us what, what your ideas are for us to do some weekly content videos. Um, whether it's tip or tactics, gear reviews, question and answers. Um, so leave us a comment down below. Tell us what you guys want to see for our weekly content. It's starting uh, next week after the Icon Tour is over. Every Tuesday we're going to be uploading a new video with some content. So you want to check back in, subscribe if you haven't, so you're not going to miss any of that. We're going to have, you know, probably giveaways on a lot of those days. So check back in. Um, we really appreciate all the support and uh, we will see you guys tomorrow and you're not going to want to miss tomorrow's series of the Icon Tour, day 15. It's one of my favorites.